What is going on guys, JT Judgment here and welcome to another French Legend review. Today we're going to be looking at the central midfielder Patrick Vieira. Now, when it comes to midfielders, not just in the Legends League, I mean in the whole of Ultimate Team, Vieira is one of the better looking players in general because his card fist stats are absolutely insane. He's got 84 pace, 83 dribbling and heading and 88 defending, 79 passing and 68 heading. So, uh, 68 shooting sorry not heading my bad <laughs> um, so those card face stats for a midfielder are absolutely insane some of his in-game stats are very 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 impressive as well I mean you can expect it from an 88 rated legend you know 88 ball control 86 dribbling 85 long shots or long passing 87 short passing 91 standing tackle 87 acceleration 90 reactions 92 strength 97 aggression 94 interceptions the boys got 90s all over the place and like I just said you can expect these sort of stats from an 88 rated legend does he play la like that in game well let's go through some of his pluses and his negatives shall we guys one of his pluses is his passing 79 on the card I got to agree with that stat he set up a couple of goals for me and the chances that he created was absolutely crazy you know it's 79 passing on the card he feels a bit better than that you know Strength wise, he is a very, very strong player. Now, something to sort of counter that. His balance is really, really poor, in my opinion. You know, I would go in for the tackle and I would either just bounce off the player that I was trying to take the ball off and he would tumble to the floor or I would take the ball off them and then something poor would happen and he would lose the ball and that happened all the time with Vieira and it got very 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 frustrating so he is strong he's just not as strong as his card or not his card stats his in-game stats say in my opinion from my experience using him guys he's got very good pace for a midfielder for a central defensive midfielder which is where he plays best in my opinion either in the central midfield or the center defensive midfield spot 84 pace to have in those positions is absolutely fantastic I mean if I were to compare him to Yaya Torre which is what I've heard a lot of people like to do Yaya Torre's pace is in the late 70s so for Patrick Vieira's pace to be in the mid 80s and him to play ex extremely similar to Yaya Torre that's absolutely insane you know his dribbling and ball control as well is absolutely fantastic you, you get what you expect from an 83 dribbling style uh, he's very good in the air 83 head in on the card but his head he, I think he's like six foot five so you can expect him to win pretty much anything you get in the air you know whether it's from a goal kick or whether he's in the box from a corner didn't score any headers actually I think he scored one header for me which was a bit of a jammy goal um, but he's, he's very good in the air bottom line six foot five I think he is which is something crazy he does will win a lot of the balls in the air surprisingly for a 68 shot on the card his shooting is absolutely fantastic in my opinion he scored some crackers for me in this game he's the sort of player where and shooting with him is sort of random you know sometimes he would have a good shot sometimes he would have a bad shot and when he managed to pull off a good shot they are always epic you know he's that sort of player when it comes to his shooting some of his weaknesses guys he's got a very very poor weak foot he's got three star skills and three star weak foot so skillers won't enjoy using him really um but me personally i like using players with three star skills and three star weak foot he honestly performed as if he had one his weak foot was absolutely terrible and his balance for me like i explained earlier on guys was very very poor the amount of times that this guy would just bounce off players and fall to the floor really was frustrating and it got very very bad at times so in my opinion I gotta say he is definitely one of the best midfielders in the game best played in the center defensive midfield spot or the central midfield spot don't try him as a cam because his work rates are going to ruin him there he's never going to be in the position but try him there if you want to try his shooting guys he probably will do uh, a good job of getting into the position to try and take shots with um, but I gotta say he's, he's a fantastic player and especially with a market crash you guys are going to be able to pick him up for a decent price and sell him on later uh, for maybe be a bit of a profit definitely worth trying out 9.4 out of 10 i have given him and that's going to wrap up my final thoughts and review of patrick vieira i really do hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did a like is always greatly appreciated and hit the subscribe button today if you haven't already and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta guys